it's been some time since I wanted to record this video. Um, it's really about transparency and I don't even know if anybody really cares, but maybe someone out there is feeling the way I am feeling as it pertains to weight loss and health. So I created this channel initially to share with you all my um, journey with budgeting and getting out of debt, money management, health, and my grand weight loss story. Well, the money part is going pretty well, I have to say. The budgeting is going really good and this is going to be one of those things where it's like, okay, let's first share about the good things and then I'll get to what's not so great. So the budget's going really well. I'm doing really well, pretty much like staying within my means spending. I went a little bit off on Amazon Prime Day, but I have money to cover it in my sinking funds. That's not the issue, really the topic of this video. Um, and if you hear background noise, it's because I live um, on the river and, you know, people are sailing and doing their thing. But um, anyway, like I was saying, um, let's get to the not so great part. Um, I am really struggling with the whole eating healthy, weight loss. It's like every day I'm starting over and over and over again. Like it's, it's daunting and it's a shame to feel like food has so much control over you. Um, but I feel that way sometimes because I'll tell myself, you're not going to have a day of eating a bunch of junk and then I do it. Then I tell myself, okay, just this last time and then I'm going to start over tomorrow. I cannot tell you how many times I've started over. Like, it's really, really daunting. I have been on keto, off keto on low carb, off low carb. Of all of the different diets I've ever, ever done, I will say that I have felt the most amazing with keto, but it's just really hard for me staying focused on it because there's so many, I, I grew up eating junk food, like mom's always candy, cookies, chips, all those things all the time. And so it's like ingrained in my lifestyle to the point where I'm really struggling to like kick it out of my life. I don't really keep it in the house, but I tend to, when I'm out, like I go to physical therapy for my leg and Dunkin' Donuts is right downstairs from physical therapy and I'll, I usually stop and grab, grab a donut or a refresher. Um, late at night sometimes, I just get this desire for potato chips. It's just things that I know are not good for me and I'll tell myself, I will not do this again. I'm not gonna eat like this anymore and then I do it again. and. You know, I'm kind of ashamed that I have not been able to lose something as seemingly simple as 40 pounds. Like, I'm not maybe severely overweight, but let me tell you something. 40 pounds is a big difference on your joints. It's also a big difference when you have problems with your liver. So I'd struggle with having a fatty liver, and you would think that would be enough to stop me, right? No. Am I concerned about it? Absolutely. Totally concerned about it. But it's a struggle. It really is a struggle. I feel like, and not to downplay, you know, people who are on like actual drugs, but food sometimes feels like a drug. It really does. And so I'm trying to focus on doing things that take my mind off of it. But the fact of the matter is, I feel like everything I do, food has something to do with it. Like when I'm working, it's like I'll be thinking about snacking or, you know, just going to social things. You, you just, food everything's food related and it's like I just don't really know how to break this cycle like I'm being very transparent here um I really don't have anything good to offer in terms of the health topic but I still want to keep trying I really do I still want I don't want to just give up because at some point what happens if I gave up just before I've reached that success pinnacle where I could lose the weight and offer some tips on how I made it through the struggle. I only got those tips for you right now. Um, so I'll still continue to make my videos on budgeting and managing money and getting out of debt because I feel like I'm doing really good with that. As far as the health stuff, um, I'm just going to do some periodic check-ins. You know, I feel like my mental health is really like 
affected at this point as well. Um, I will say this, I've been taking the cholesterol off that I shared in a previous video and I'll link it down below. Um, that did help lower my cholesterol. My cholesterol is lowered. Um, that in conjunction with, even though I still eat snacky things that I shouldn't, I eat a little bit less cheese than I used to eat. And so um, the that in com combination with the cholesterol has lowered my cholesterol quite a bit, like more than 20 points. I can't remember the exact amount. I actually need to test it again, but I don't want to test it again until I've at least gotten some of this consumption of carbohydrates under control because I'm really concerned that I'm pre-diabetic again. At one point I was, and then I was like doing keto and everything, and I dropped my A1C, went down to like 5.4. Um, but I know from previous experience that if I continue to go this way, my A1C has gotten up to 5.8, which is pre-diabetes. So I say all that really just to share my struggles because I don't know if there's anyone else out there who maybe watches my channel, maybe struggling also, it is it is a struggle. It really, really is a struggle. Um, I pray, I ask God to help me. It's not to say I don't think that he's not helping me, but I don't, it's something I'm not doing right, clearly, because God doesn't fail, he doesn't. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to come on and be transparent because I know some of you may have noticed those who have especially been here since the beginning of the channel. I know I don't have a ton of subscribers here, but those who have been here since the beginning of the channel saw that I came right out the gate with the health stuff and the keto and the weight loss and all that. And then I kind of stopped talking about it. This is why. So hopefully you still subscribe, stay subscribed to the channel for the other content. And you know, who knows, maybe one day I'll come on and be like, y'all had a breakthrough. And you know what? If you don't laugh at yourself, you'll cry. So I will laugh at myself. I don't think I want you to laugh at me though, unless you're laughing with me. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will catch you in the next one where I will be sharing some money related stuff because that part I'm getting really good at.